Israeli leaders have called the nuclear deal signed between Iran and six world powers an historic mistake. Not so, says the White House, which argues that the agreement is in the interests of its key Middle Eastern ally. But not everyone here in the U.S. Congress and in pro-Israel groups in America agrees. A deal with Iran. For the first time in over a decade, Tehran agrees to freeze certain parts of its nuclear program in return for $7 billion worth of sanctions relief. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says the region will be safer as a result. This first step, I want to emphasize, actually rolls back the program from where it is today, enlarges the breakout time, which would not have occurred unless this agreement existed. It will make our partners in the region safer. It will make our ally Israel safer. But that ally doesn't seem to agree. This agreement has made the world a much more dangerous place. I know that many share the concern of Israel, especially in the region. Under the terms of the deal, centrifuges like these in Iran will stop spinning over the next six months as talks on a more comprehensive agreement continue. But Mr Netanyahu's fears that the deal was a mistake are shared by some congressmen in the US, Democrats and Republicans. The bipartisan groups are pushing for more sanctions to be imposed on Tehran. Some want them in the next six months, others if Iran fails to agree to a longer-term deal during that time. Either could derail the negotiations. But many pro-Israel groups in the U.S. support that stance, concerned that the Obama administration isn't taking Israeli interests into account. The American Jewish community, by and large, feels that this administration <laughs> has taken a step that is potentially extremely dangerous for Israel, and at the same time has taken that step not in concert with Israel, not even separate from Israel, because Israel is not part of the P5 plus one, so you don't expect to find them at the negotiating table, but without Israel. Israel was left in the dark for a long time. But not all Jewish Americans agree. Some say the deal with Iran heralds a better relationship between the two nations, and that ultimately they both want the same thing. If anything, it's going to see and mean more American-Israeli cooperation and coordination in the days ahead. This administration has had a tighter defense relationship with Israel than any other American administration. Added to the Obama administration's perceived foreign policy fumbles in Egypt and Syria, some Jewish groups here in the U.S. say that the White House doesn't appear to be on Israel's side. Others, though, say that the deal with Iran is an opportunity for the two countries to work together. Either way, having worked hard to come up with an agreement in Geneva, the Obama administration now needs to work even harder, selling it back at home. Lorna Shaddock for JN1 in Washington.